Hello once again, YouTube. Duke Nukem2417 here, and today is going to be a little bit different in terms of content on my channel, because I have a special guest today doing a very interesting review video. That guest just so happens to be my brother. He has not done any YouTube videos before. Be nice in the comments, please. And I'll let him take it from here. Hello, everybody. I'm, as previously mentioned, Duke's brother, and today I'd like to give not so much a review, but more of just an opinion piece on the Rosemary vs. Alley Demon vs. the Slayer DVD from Smash Wrestling. I'll start off with some general background and general impressions, and then maybe just say a little bit about each of the matches on the DVD, and then give a little bit of a summary at the end. So, without further ado, here we go. So I'll admit, the first time I heard the name Rosemary, as in the wrestler Rosemary, was in regards to the whole sexy star incident where she tried to break Rosemary's arm. So then I started to watch Impact, specifically for Rosemary, because I hadn't watched it in a long time. I watched her, and then I thought, wow, she's actually really good at what she does. And then I found out, because I had been vaguely aware of the whole Broken Matt saga, <laughs> but I had no clue that she had been a part of that. And when I found out she was a part of that, I went on YouTube and found videos of her participation in that, and I became even more of a fan, so I can safely say now that I am a Rosemary fan. Rosemary, if you're watching, you're awesome. So then I was just searching around on Reddit one day, and I found a link to this DVD from Smash Wrestling. It was Rosemary vs. Alley, Demon vs. The Slayer, and it was the only DVD that I could see that had any of her matches and stuff on it. So I thought, well, why not get it? So for my birthday gift to myself, I went ahead and ordered the DVD. And it came in last week or two weeks ago. And I basically just sat down and watched the entire thing. And I would have done this review earlier, but life got in the way. School got in the way. Just other things. So now, as the saying goes, better late than never. So here now is my unofficial review of Rosemary vs. Alley, Demon vs. the Slayer. Some general impressions. First off, as I already said, I became a fan of Rosemary through watching on Impact. Allie, I mean, I didn't dislike her. She was alright, but she was just kind of like, eh. I think the first we had heard was, of her was the marriage to Braxton Sutter, that whole thing. Which Yeah, but I didn't dislike her. I was just sort of indifferent to her. But after watching this DVD, I could definitely say I've probably become a fan of Allie as well. And I became even more of a fan of Rosemary. And the reason why is, for one thing, Allie's character on Impact, I mean, it's this happy person. And it was just kind of like, I'd seen that, and it was just like, eh. I mean, her wrestling ability is good, but in terms of character, it was just like, eh. Kind of and flat. then, upon further watching, it was like, she's not just happy girl. That whole bit with Gail Kim, like, Gail Kim was like the mentor, and that whole relationship between them, that was something. And then, not just her wrestling, but her body language, facial expressions, there was more to it than I'd initially thought. And then from this DVD, from the very first match, it was like a whole other side of Allie. Before I watched this DVD, I wouldn't have thought she could play the mean girl, but she can definitely play mean girl very, very well. And it was just a whole other side of Allie that I'd never expected to see. So that was one thing. And then another thing is, regards to the production values, the venues, I mean, they're a lot smaller. The camera work is... I'm just some ECW and venue sizing. Yeah, the camera work is sufficient, which is a good thing, because if I had to sit through multiple zooms and stuff during matches on this DVD, the point I'm trying to get to is, even if the production values are lacking, the most important thing is what's happening in the ring, in terms of the wrestling and the story and the characters. And in those regards, I would say almost every match on this DVD is top quality. Ring work, storytelling, character, everything. So, with that being said, I guess we can talk about the DVD itself and the content on the DVD. The front of the case is meant to invoke uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which it does. It's got sort of a creepy... The font used the, to write the title is similar. Yeah, the font looks almost identical to that on Buffy. And it's a slimline case, which I didn't expect. And then on the back, it's just a list of matches. There's about ten different matches of varying lengths, plus the extras. Now, one thing I want and to mention about the match list, can I just break in here? There may be some confusion with some of the names listed, because it's, you don't see the names Rosemary and Allie until, like, the last few. There is a reason for that. Yeah, like he said. What about the price of the whole thing? Well, the price was $15 on Smash Wrestling website. Shipping is about seven fifty, and then you have to pay through PayPal, which is, like, a dollar fee for using PayPal. For my money, as far as the entertainment value of this DVD, I definitely got my money's worth for that price. 
So yeah, I guess we can just start talking about the DVD itself then. When I put it into my player, it's just a simple little menu. It's got the title of the thing, Rosemary vs. Alley. And then they have play all, option, select match, or extras. And one thing I discovered is if you go to select match, if you start with the first one, it doesn't finish one match and then go back to the menu. It just plays them all one after the other in order sequentially. And all together, the matches are just over like three hours in length. So I guess we can start talking about those. The first one that sort of sets up this whole feud is a tag match with Rosemary. She's referred to as Courtney Rush, which was her previous ring name, but I'll just refer to them as Rosemary and Allie, mostly for simplicity's sake. But the first match is a tag match, which is Rosemary and Vanessa Craven versus the Kimber Bombs, which is Kimberly and Cherry Bomb, a.k.a. Allie. And it sort of set the tone for most of the matches on this DVD, because most of these matches, there's not a whole lot of technical wrestling. It's mostly just beating the crap out of the other person. So right from the start, they just go at each other in and out of the ring. And then when the match actually officially starts, it's the typical back and forth thing. I don't remember who won. I think Rosemary and Vanessa. Vanessa won. And then afterwards comes the moment that sort of establishes the whole thing between Rosemary and Allie, which is Allie grabs a pair of scissors and cuts Rosemary's hair short, which is, of course, meant to be humiliating and it's played as such. And this was just the first of many examples of Allie being able to pull off something besides the character she plays on Impact. So, I mean, it was a good little match. Next one is Rosemary versus Jessica Havoc, which was sort of the first appearance of what would become Rosemary, even though the commentators refer to her still as Courtney Rush. Basically, in terms of character and in terms of wrestling ability, she shows off the genesis of her Rosemary character. So overall, another good little match. Also, I think there was some sort of angle of Team Canada versus Team USA, like it was two multi-person teams, and the members of each team eventually come down to ringside and kind of stand around the ring and occasionally get involved. The third match is Rosemary versus Casey Spinelli. Now apparently these two were friends within the story, so they had a little match and it started off, well Rosemary came out as Courtney Rush. She wasn't all crazy, she was just normal. And this match was probably one of the only ones on the disc that has more technical wrestling, at least at first, than the rest, which was impressive from both women. And then that all changed when Allie showed up on the big screen and basically started provoking Rosemary. And then Rosemary started to sort of slide back into her other self. I don't want to spoil too much, but suffice to say the results were surprising and bloody. That was a pretty good match. The next one isn't actually a full match. It's a portion of a triple threat match between Rosemary, Candice LeRae, and Leah Vaughn. And the portion that's on this DVD is pretty much, at some point in the middle of the match, Allie shows up on the balcony, I guess because this was a pay-per-view. She shows up kind of in the wings, and she starts taunting Rosemary again, showing off even more of how adept she is at playing the mean girl type of character. And then she runs away, and then Rosemary chases her, and then the match continues, which they don't show. But again, this is just to show the furthering of their feud. And then the next match is Rosemary versus Kimberly with Allie at ringside. And I forgot to mention the commentators. They also sort of play, you know, a big role in every match because they're the ones that are selling the idea that Rosemary wants to get her revenge on Allie and Allie is trying to avoid that. And they do it quite well, I think. And then this match is, it's another good match. I mean, Rosemary, her style of wrestling is not overly technical. It's just beat your ass kind of thing. And that's pretty much what she does. And also, at the end of this match, this is, I think, the first time that Allie actually shows her, because I thought Rosemary was the only one that went through a change in this whole thing, but Allie also eventually adopts the persona of the Demon Slayer, or just the Slayer. She starts carrying around a cross-shaped wooden stake and all that sort of thing, so that's when things really sort of kick off between the two of them. And once again, the way that's portrayed is really great. Next is the first actual matchup between the two of them. Well, in the case, it's listed as Courtney Rush versus Cherry Bomb, but it's basically Rosemary versus Allie. And again, right from the opening bell, they just tear into each other and try and destroy each other. And you get the feeling that they really and truly hate each other. And it comes across, again, in the ring work and the body language and all that stuff. It's just two very talented women putting on one hell of a match. 
Then the next match is Allie versus Leah Vaughn, which I think Rosemary comes out partway through, and it becomes a triple threat match, which again, the match ends up mostly being Rosemary and Allie trying to destroy each other some more, while Leah Vaughn tries desperately just to kind of keep up. It's kind of entertaining in that regard. And then the next one is not an actual match, I think. It's actually just Allie calling out Rosemary in the ring. And then Rosemary comes down and gives a little Rosemary-style speech. And then she says she wants a no-disqualification match with Allie, which she gets. And then a couple of guys come out. I'm not sure who they were. And they basically sort of restrain Rosemary while Allie delivers a couple of super kicks right to her face. Basically getting the crowd pumped up to see Rosemary kick Allie's ass once again. Which, again, even though it's not a match, I mean, in terms of building the story and the characters, it's well done. Very well done, in my opinion. And then the next match, which is an actual match, is Rosemary versus Allie, no disqualifications. And this is the type of match that I doubt we'll ever see in WWE. Because even with the whole women's revolution thing, I think there are some things they just won't let the women in WWE get away with. Like any type of hardcore weapons match. I mean, the closest thing we've had yet is probably that kendo stick on a pole match with Alexa versus Bailey, And that, I'm, I'm not even going to get into that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, Rosemary versus Allie, no disqualification. Basically, it, it was the same as their first match, but with weapons thrown in the mix. Cookie sheets, a couple of tables, thumbtacks, at least one chair, I think. It wasn't even a match. It was like a battle, really. And they sold it as such. There were a couple times that I was like, how did she not get killed or crippled just right there? Because even though wrestling is not full contact, there is a possibility of getting injured or killed. And it looked like a number of times to this match, I thought that was going to happen or had happened. But again, hats off to both these women for pulling off such an intense match. Possibly my favorite match on the DVD. And then the last match is Rosemary vs. Alley in a steel cage. There's a little promo package preceding the match, kind of highlighting their feud up until this point, and then it leads into the actual match. Again, the match itself, it's not so much a match as it is a no-holds-barred kind of brawl. They use the cage as a weapon, they throw each other into the cage, they just do everything. This isn't about escaping the cage, this is about surviving the cage and each other. And again, both Rosemary and Allie do a great job of selling that. And then they even manage to involve a couple of weapons. Thumbtacks come into play once more. I think a table gets brought in at one point. I guess this was around another one of those Team USA versus Team Canada things, because the members of both teams come out again, and then they all start fighting at ringside, and it's just crazy. There was one moment that, I don't know if this was a botch or what, I think Allie was trying to do some type of move to Rosemary off the turnbuckle through the table, and she accidentally broke the table before she could put (laughs) Rosemary through it, which the commentators tried to sell as being more painful. You know, those things happen, so they managed to roll with it and not let it really hold them back too much. So yeah, this match, not quite as good as the previous match on disc, but almost. And in the end, they try to have, I guess, maybe the conclusion of the whole saga up until that point. Or at least as far as the content of this disc is concerned. So yeah, another really good match on a disc full of them. And that's about it for the matches. The extras are pretty much just promos. It sort of fills in the blanks, kind of. Like, there's a one-on-one interview with both Rosemary and Allie that gives some insight into their characters and motivations in this whole feud. Yeah, it's just to sort of supplement the matches themselves. All the extras combined run about 32 minutes. So I guess in conclusion, I would say if you're a fan of women's wrestling, or if you're a fan of Rosemary or Alley or both, you definitely should get this DVD. It's, in my opinion, well worth it. And that is all, I think, for me. So... And that is it for my brother's review of Rosemary vs. Alley, Demon vs. the Slayer. Thank you all so very much for watching, and stay tuned for more.